If you've ever used Blender's Fluid Simulator, you'll definitely have noticed the jagged edges that happen when the fluid hits a slanted surface, and this can be a real problem. Now I've already set the surface smoothing to 3, and anything higher than that seems to create overlapping faces, which ended up just looking a little bit worse. So I discovered a quick workaround, and what we can do is go to the Modifiers tab and add a Smooth modifier, and if we increase the factor to, say, 1.5, and repeat this maybe 10 times, we're going to get a really, really smooth surface. But the problem is we lose a little bit of volume, but we lose a little bit of surface detail as well, and any small droplets that we have have completely disappeared. Really, we only want the smoothing on the point of contact between the fluid and the bowl. We can actually do this with dynamic paint. So in the physics tab with the fluid selected, let's make this a dynamic paint object as well, and make it a canvas. Now let's select the bowl and make that a dynamic paint object as well, but this time let's make it a brush. Now if we play this back, we can see that the bowl is painting onto the fluid, but it needs to extend its reach a little bit farther, so let's make this mesh volume and proximity for the paint source, and maybe make the paint distance something like 0.5. Now if we play this back, we can see the blue paint is reaching just the edges, now what we can do is, with the fluid selected for the canvas, we can switch in the Dynamic Paint Advanced panel the surface type from Paint to Weight, and now it's going to weight paint the fluid rather than add paint. Then all we need to do is make this a real vertex group, so we add that to the object with that plus button, and bake the simulation. So now that we've isolated a vertex group with only the faces that are touching, then we can go back to the Modifiers tab, and under the Smooth modifier, use that as the vertex group. And if we move the dynamic paint above the Smooth modifier, then we only are smoothing the areas that are touching the bowl. And there we have a much nicer simulation.